you guys very much for uh, joining us uh, Sunday afternoon. We're gonna be talking about using Chevy container for homes and buildings and all these nice stuff. My name is Bill Taha. I'm president of Precision Structural Engineering. Also, I'm the, I was a former professor of civil engineering at OIT, Oregon Institute of Technology. We know that uh, when we start something new, our industry will use the warming and we have global warming. Uh, whether you believe or not, it, is, it does happen when you start producing that cement and the steel from, the, from scratch. You produce a lot of bad gases. Also, in wood uh, construction with homes, there is more the problem these days because the quality of wood is not very good. It has more sugar. And the material I'm going to share with you is renewable, recyclable for sure. And it is uh, bug proof. The might don't like the taste of the steel. And it's way better than the quality of wood. On top of that, it is fireproof. Look at this uh, uh, sub subdivision here. And you see if one house caught on fire, unfortunately, sometimes the rest of the neighborhood or the block is gone. We need to make it green, and if you're sold on the green, we need to do the three R's, which is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Actually, we're gonna be reusing and recycle right now by using cargo containers. Recycle the steel, and as you see, we have a lot of all the cars, train cars, refrigerator, all the things, we have it and we can repurpose that uh, to use it for new construction. By all means, I don't mean reuse, do like this guy here, but I mean is we can melt the steel, have coils, and from the coil, we can have studs and joists and the process from a machine that, that could fit in your garage, that does not need really big equipment because it's cold from steel. From, from this coil, to this studs and the process, it's a small machine that can fit in your uh, garage. Here is a uh, steel house in Midford. You see the advantages of uh, fireproof, and uh, it has fire in the garage. And you can see that there is a local damage in the garage, but it does not spread to the rest of the house. It is the rest of the house after the fire. The garage was destroyed, the rest of the house is still there. This wood house had, it's a block away by the way from the other one, and the one fire in the kitchen, and you can see that the entire house is destroyed. So if you'd like really to protect yourself against fire, don't depend on the fire department, depend on non-combustible material, because the fire department come to save you, not the house. Here is a 52 unit apartment complex in Los Angeles, all, all like edge steel, all non-combustible, and it's working wonderful. I just want to, I want you to imagine if one person did bad thing in that 52 units, let's say they had a fire, most likely the entire building will go, but not with light edge steel. Here's a nice home from light edge steel. It's non-combustible and termite don't like the taste of it. Even Uncle Sam now start to, to do it. Here's the Clayton Lake Advisor Center. It's made from light gauge steel. The next topic we're going to talk about now, which is the most important to be honest with you, is cargo containers, or some people say shipping container, freight container. We import a lot of goods from different countries, and unfortunately, we do not export equal amount. The result is we have a lot of shipping container in our harbor here in the state, and we could uh, let it be um, wasted, rusted, or we can give it a second life and use it for construction. Remember, the three R, reduce and then reuse, recycle. We're gonna reuse right now, I'm gonna share with you beautiful home. Again, reuse, I don't mean this way. Here is a uh, uh, 80 story tower in Germany and you can go up upstairs and see the city and have a cup of coffee. What I'm saying is, it, they tell us that the shipping containers really are very strong. Very, very strong. We can do a lot of shipping container, as you can see this one is for commercial, and um, uh, one of the sides made as a canopy and the doors, and you can use them for a lot of purposes. You can use them for uh, additional housing for your in-laws in the backyard. You can have it for your teens. If you're sick and tired of your teens like myself, you can use them for coffee shops. You can, you can see a lot of them. You can use them for a lot of things. You can cut and shape and do it. I got to be honest with you though, when you start the cutting and the shape, the shipping container, it loses 
It's a huge strength. The strength is reduced. That's why you need to talk to one of the engineers like myself <laughs> to model it on the computer and uh, make sure that you are safe. So anyway, you can uh, cut and shape as you can see, and you can use it for tons of purposes. In addition to the in-laws and the teenager, you can have it in your kitchen. You can have additional kitchen space. You can have it as an additional space, uh, bedrooms for your home, or additional bathroom. One of the advantages of shipping container, guys, it could be done in a shop and move to your house ready to go. Rather than putting up with the electrician and the plumber and all these things that drive us nuts sometimes. It could be vacation home if you want to. Again, prefabricated move to the site. Coffee shops, I mean storage. It's really multi-purposes. It's wonderful structure that you can do a lot of it. Now, many people put the shipping container side by side and build the home like you can see here with wood process. You can put some uh, uh, insulation outside or this house from uh, Bob Villa on TV, it has certain coating on it. Can you tell this is house is made from a shipping container? You can hide it if you want to, but to get the strength of it. Or you could have it exposed and I'm gonna share with you. Here is my favorite way of using shipping container guys for housing. You can put some on the right, leave a space about 20 or 30 feet and put another one and cover it with wood trusses. That gives you in between a lot of space as a living space. The mo this is the most efficient way. Here is an office and uh, a shop in Medford where we have two shipping containers on this side, two on the other side and wood trusses in the top and it works just to great. Here is the same building again. You can see the two shipping containers on one side, two shipping two-story containers on the other side. Wood trusses give you beautiful, huge living space. Here is another example of one in uh, Ply when we have a shipping container 40 foot. We went 25 foot with another one and the owner chose to uh, use that metal carpet uh, structure on the top of it. Here is the one for the uh, uh, military, where we have offices, office and shop space, full stack, two stack, and that fabric structure on the top of them give them very nice shop with offices as well. There is another shop on 97 here in Crescent, Oregon, and you can see two stacks, two stacks, and in this case still trusses as a shop for one contractor. Can the container support the trusses? Heck yes! It's very strong. What's good about that project, guys, even the concrete foundation, we did not pour concrete foundation. We used recycled blocks of concrete. So the, the building really gym was very good at uh, green wise. The shipping container was recycled, shipping container. The foundation was recycled concrete blocks and the truss was all the steel as well. Using the uh, shipping container for uh, residential is not new. People who are doing it across the nation and all over the world, by the way. Here is a two-story house made from five containers, and you can see five containers, but look at the beautiful. In this case, they choose to cover the shipping container. So you really cannot tell. So what is the advantage of this one? The advantage of this one, number one, is modular. It was done in a shop, so you do it in the shop, you uh, transport it, and you can install it in a day or two. So it's very good for the, uh, downtown big cities. The living space was 24 foot wide because we can knock off the walls of the shipping container and they make them bigger. So you can have your, your living room uh, two container wide or three or four or five, whatever you want, because we do remove the walls. But that particular house was two bedroom, two bath, and even balcony. Did you see that bal nice balcony? There is no backyard over there, sort of like Oregon. Here is a uh, five uh, container up uh, billboard for Adidas, we did it in New York. Las Vegas container park. Here is a uh, uh, Habanero restaurant made from Chevy container. This is Ohio Stadium Plaza. We are doing it really from Ohio, come, came to us all the way here, all the way here in uh, Klamath Falls, Oregon, because we uh, designed green, a lot of green building here. And it's about over 100 containers. The plaza for the stadium for ticketing and the cafeteria. Here's another view of it. 
If you are in an area that doesn't need really uh, insulation too much, tropical area, Hawaii or something, we will use the shipping container and color it and uh, it looks great. We did one here in Eugene when we put the insulation inside. So from outside you see it. Also there is another project in Talent, Oregon that does have the shipping container. You see it as is, which is just fine, it looks good. Insulation. Guys, you can put rigid insulation uh, on the outside or inside as a matter of fact, or you can use the spray insulation on the outside or the inside. Your choice. If you guys would like to learn more about shipping container, that uh, book, very nice book that did for the lay person, this guy here, a commercial shipping container, small building, uh, small steel building by Paul Sawyer. The cost of shipping container, guys, is usually about three to six or five thousand dollars based on how good it is and again you can stack it eight or nine so we can build a two or three story home from you so i shared with you eight times the stack but please don't do a mess like this one this is not a safe situation so let's do it the right way so you can be safe in your home that concludes guys uh, uh, my talking about shipping container we do have free consultation if you contact me i can give you 15 minute consultation for free uh, after that, of course, we have to invoice you. That will conclude the shipping container webinar uh, seminar.